Cleanup continues after at least four tornadoes ripped through Minnesota on Monday. The one that hit Ferreira had 120 mile an hour winds with several vortexes and a path of damage at least half a mile wide. Reg Chapman visited neighbors helping neighbors in the hard hit town. With so much destruction here in Ferreira, it's hard to determine exactly where to start cleaning up. The vegetation is gone. The the homes are all destroyed, and yeah, it's a it's quite a deal down there. The past two days have been spent assessing the damage, including roads to gain access to the hardest hit areas in Ferreira. The EF2 tornado tore a path a half mile wide along Maple Lake. 120 mile per hour winds ripped homes, cabins, and businesses to shreds. 101 structures and 29 of them, they're non-existent. Lots of neighbor helping neighbor. Ashley Slosher, family and friends spent the day removing with the storm blew into her yard. Everyone pitched in as they removed fallen trees cut into pieces. Not such a big task when you have help. For them, we're lucky to still have a roof, but um, you know, we're going through our insurance stuff too and you can see all the cracks in our house. It just completely, like it picked it up and put it back down. Ashley recalls the terrifying moments when they weren't sure if they or their neighbors would survive. We were in the basement and uh, um, we heard crying and my, uh, Nick and I came running upstairs and uh, a firefighter showed up with one of their little boys to our door and said, can you take him? And I grabbed him and I ran him downstairs to uh, my two little kids. And Her neighbors were safe but their house unrecognizable. The beauty of a small town, everyone knows everyone, and happy to return precious items lost in the wind. And trying to make sure any belongings can get back to the right place. The photos are the worst to find. Um, the Christmas decorations, everything. Once all the cleanup is finished here on the ground, the attention will turn to the lake. It's believed that many of the missing rooftops, boats and boat launches are somewhere out there underwater. In Ferreira, Reg Chapman, WCCO, 4 News. Freight officials have set up a fund if you want to help the town rebuild, and you can find that information at WCCO.com.